Hey guys, we're back at the garden at home and I just want to give you an update on the chilies that we're growing here. So you must have seen this in my previous videos. This is the Bahamian goat. Uh, and look at, look at how much it has produced in the two weeks that I have um, that I've shown it to you right so that's uh, that's heavy with with all the uh, the pods um, and in a few weeks I'd say a month five weeks tops we should be looking at we should be looking at um, red ripe pods ready for harvest so there they are now this one right here are my reapers so that's a that's a little reaper and look at all the flowers so again in a few weeks time this will be heavy with pods hopefully they don't fall uh, due to the wind so that's uh that's some of the updates I've got so there's Mutia doing her thing she's uh and the so this is the ghost pepper um, it's also heavy with a lot of flowers now this is this is the plant that I have uh, harvested from so I, I got a few pods from that and this is another reaper plant so it's it's got um, you know those baby pods the makings of new pods and look a ladybug in our garden that's a good sign over here we have and you'll see this is netted and it's because this is the variety that birds love this is our bird's eye chili um, and again there's that little ladybug say hello ladybug right so bird's eye chili they're also in various stages of ripening um, here I have some reapers now this is the lazy method of germinating them I just threw in a whole pod of, uh, of Carolina reapers and basically left it and that's what happened it just grew um, let me take you over here so I've got addition I've got plants in addition to our uh, lineup so this is right here this is the Kang Star Lemon Starburst beautiful pods um, and then this is the dragon's breath sugar rush peach has flowers already um, this is the devil's tongue purple and here we've got the purple flash I can get that focus that's a purple flash now this is the interesting one see how long that pod is so this is called the Thunder Mountain Longhorn Pepper. Um, it has some very long pods. And then, so you've got a few other varieties here. Um, so this is a Primo. I need to get that into the soil. This is a Green Scorpion. This is uh, the Jalapeno. And then here we have the Ahi Charapita. And then you'll see our uh, our usual lineup. So this is the Black Cuban. Then you have the Bolivian Rainbow. Then you have the Black Katambi. And our uh, Ghost Pepper Peach Jammy already flowering. So hopefully we get to harvest a few pods from there. 
So yeah, that is our garden update. Um, I still have, oh, excuse the motorbike noises. I have an Indonesian chili pepper here. Um, so there, there's another, there's another bird's eye chilies. Now you see I've wrapped the pods because the birds, uh, the birds eat them. They devour them, those little devils. And right here we've got our Indonesian Chebai Rawit chilies. Look at how big those pods are. I can, there. See? It's pretty big. Would you spray this for me, sweetheart? Thank you. There. All right. Uh, so this is also, I'm, I'm thinking of transplanting this. I'm thinking of putting this in the soil now. So this is my hydrophonic, um, my hydrophonic pepper. This is an apocalypse scorpion. And then this, this plant actually died already from the pot. Um, this is supposed to be a choco, a choco reaper, <laughs> but look at it now. I just stuck it in the hydro solution. I think I will bring this to the farm and let it continue growing there. Uh, let it spend, you know, it's the rest of its days in the farm. I think it deserves that. I can just stick it back in there. Oh, I need to do a two-hand operation on this. Hang on. Get in there. Okay, so um, that's our trailly tour. There. Right there. Little, little garden tour. Now I gotta get back inside, process some orders, and then uh, you know I need I need to put up my feet. My feet are aching. So tomorrow I'll show you the f uh, an update on the farm. Uh, it's coming along. I think by the weekend we'll have the farmhouse done. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, the farmers and I are going to have a little picnic just to thank them for. For everything they've done over the last two weeks i mean they did a lot of work a lot of work so i you know i just want to say thank you to them and you know do a little barbecue with them right this is me chingado master signing off <laughs>